Hello everybody and welcome back to the Let's Play of the Zoo Tycoon scenarios. This time we're continuing off from the previous scenario, which was Valley of the Dinosaurs, which we completed barely, um, which was the first of the intermediate dinosaur dig scenarios. This is the second. Uh, it's called Jurassic Zoo. And we have um, two years, so it's going to be a long scenario, um, long video. Uh, unless I split it into two parts or I cut it off early depending on how it goes uh, and basically we have two years to well zoo rating is 75 easy enough suitability rating of 85 for seven Jurassic exhibits so that's not difficult in terms well the 85 suitability rating is easy enough the problem is um, we don't get any leeway over what dinosaurs we adopt and we're gonna have to do research to get some of them uh, so we need the seven Jurassic dinosaurs, so Allosaurus, Camptosaurus, Cordipteryx, I'm probably mispronouncing these, Kentrosaurus, Plesiosaurus, Stegosaurus, and Patasaurus, or um, Brontosaurus, the big herbivore. So, yeah, it says you'll be it'll be necessary to invest money in the genetic research conservation category so that you can adopt and source like the Apatosaurus. Okay, so first things first. Um, we do have two years, which is an awfully long time. Although I said last time we had 18 months. Uh, and I said, oh yeah, that's tons of time. Um... We also start with a lot of money, but then again, we started with a lot of money last time. We still managed to run out. That said, the ground is looking like it's a lot flatter. Um, so it doesn't look like I'll have to level out as much terrain as I did last time. Which is good. So hopefully the scenario will be a bit easier. I still don't know why I found the other scenario so difficult. I think it's just because... I think I did. A f a f I think I made a few mistakes. Um, I think possibly I spent too much on leveling terrain and maybe went with like the wrong dinosaurs. I don't know. Well, that's not what I want. That's what I want. Um, looks a bit weird because there's a cliff there, but it'll be fine. Because that's actually outside the zoo, so... It looks weird, but it'll be fine. Anyway... So, first things first... Um, they want seven exhibits. So... Some of them will obviously need research, but it would make sense to start with the ones that don't require any research. Um... Cordipteryx, I know, doesn't require any research, obviously, because we can adopt it here. Um, I also have to know that's quite popular. Um, so we'll just go with that. By... No. Eleven and twelve, yeah. Um, this is a popular dinosaur, so that's why I'm starting with it. It's also fairly easy to maintain, if that makes any sense. Like, it doesn't kind of cause a fuss. In fact, I had one of these in my in the previous scenario. So, um, while we're waiting for them to hatch. Let's go ahead and build some profitable buildings. Or buildings. Because ideally every building that we build is profitable, so we need to distinguish the profitable from the buildings. If that makes any sense. Or am I just talking gibberish? Most likely probably just talking gibberish. And if you've seen my previous videos, then you'll know exactly how this works, and I'm probably just repeating myself and saying stuff you already know. I'm 
Excuse me. Okay. Um, continue on as normal. Um, ooh, I made a slight mistake here. That's okay. Uh huh. More buildings. Uh, what else? Gonna need the restaurant. And yeah, let's put a carousel. Change the prices of everything. No. Okay, so the cinema is making a bit of cash. That's good. Uh, let's actually change the price of entry. Actually, no, let's keep it as is. No, not zero. Yeah, of course, they're saying it's really good value. It's free. And they've hatched. Okay, so let's start building up their exhibits. Apologies if I seem rushed, it's just like you've kind of seen it before so I, I don't really want to bore people because it's like I don't really want to say the blooming obvious because um, it's like oh yeah I'm, I'm, I'm building the exhibits that you've You've seen me build hundreds, well not hundreds, but a lot of exhibits, it's kind of just like, I don't want to bore people, so no point dwelling on the obvious. That's bad actually. I don't want to build an island. obviously we build an island then um, the scientists can't swim so you can't get to there which is very bad whoops I'm going to need more animals of the same type. I should have known. And trees. Obviously. I think it's this tree. Yep. And there we go. That's the first of, well, seven exhibits that we need. That's doing okay. That's not, but I'm imagining that'll do better once we start getting more guests. Same with that. That's doing fine. And that's doing fine. Um, now, let's work on the second exhibit. I was thinking then, when do we, where do we put it? But um, yeah, that's fine. I thought I built the path in the wrong location, but it actually works out really nicely. Um, wait, have I built an island? No, he's okay, actually. Just to be sure. I will 
do that. And that way he can definitely get to all parts of the exhibit. Okay, second exhibit. Um, let's actually build the Allosaurus, because that's going to be big and expensive. So I'm kind of like preparing myself for it. Um, okay, so how big is that? That's 10. So if I make this... That's not going to be big enough, is it? 20... Okay, that's 20 by 10, but I want two adults. So... Whoa, okay. That's 21. 22, 23, 24... 25 by 10, that should be big enough. For, for two adults. Because that means that... Each one has 125 squares each, and if it isn't big enough, well, I'll just have to extend it. I mean, that's pretty big, but I don't know if it's big enough for two adults, like I just said. Uh, I do have to know they do need that. Um, right. Okay, we're going to need not that, not that, not that, not that. Um, definitely that. Probably not that, if I'm honest. Um, not that. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just leave that like it is. Because I don't... <laughs> Excuse me. I will eventually want some dinosaur houses. So that's actually fine like it is. Animal theatre wouldn't fit there. Oh, I'm going to need the compost building. Should have built that earlier. Oh well. Right, guests are happy. Animals, not really happy. But they'll get happy. And Z rating, fine. Okay. Um, let's actually work on another exhibit. So I'm going to need one of these, one of these, um, so hang on, we've got two, we've got two already, we can get another two, so we need to research three, namely, Plesiosaurus, Apatosaurus, and Kentrosaurus. Okay. Let's build a Camptosaurus exhibit. Um. Oh, god damn it. Fuck's sake. Actually, I'm going to... No, I'm not going to keep that. So I've lost a bit of money. For fuck's sake. Actually, how big, how big is that? That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's 15. Yeah, so if I make it 15 by 15, that should be okay. 10, 11, 12... 
I think I'll be big enough. Oh god damn it, for fuck's sake. Okay, the Allosauruses have hatched. Um, right, so let's put those there. Right, you guys are going to need sorting out. First off, the exhibit is big enough. But they are babies, so they're gonna need, they're gonna need a bigger exhibit when they grow up. Unless this is actually big enough, I'm gonna rotate. No, actually, that's fine. Right, okay. So first things first is terrain. Well, he lies, obviously. He's not, he's not giving me all the information. He's telling me nothing about trees or... Or anything, he's just... Now he's telling me stuff. I think it's just like a weird bug that sometimes they don't always tell you everything you need. Uh, I don't know why. Seems like a very weird bug. Okay, these guys are really unhappy. To be expected. Hoping they don't destroy my trees. Oh, that's really that's nice. Um I think that's built two exhibits with very good suitability. Possibly 99. Yeah, I think it's like two exhibits with 99 suitability. Or higher. Anyway, that's 100 suitability, so that's fine. Hopefully they won't need an extension like we had to do in the Valley of the Dinosaurs, but if they do, then we've got the space just here. Also, hopefully they don't destroy any trees. Also, hopefully, they can actually get into the shelter. Uh, if they can't, I'm actually going to rebuild that. There we go. Right. Guest happiness is not great, if I'm honest. But everything's profitable. Um, I still don't have anywhere to put the animal theatre. I mean, it would fit there, but then we'd have nowhere to put a path. Unless I put it there. That works. bit unideal, but... Crap, crap, crap. Okay. That works. And then, once we get it, we can put an animal house down there. If we've got space. Which I don't know if we will. Put a bit of scenery down, make guests 
happy. Where else? Weird. Didn't realise there was a giant valley there, and now it's just a big cliff. Which actually works, so. May as well keep it like it is. Okay, we can now get Woolly Mammoth, but that's of absolutely no use to us whatsoever because the Woolly Mammoth is from the Ice Age and we're only interested in animals from the Jurassic period. Um, uh, probably put something there, but I'm thinking what? Petting zoo does increase does increase guest happiness. Let's just put like another animal house there. Because we're gonna get that soon. Ah, good. Um, these guys have hatched. Well, he has. I don't know what's going on with him. Okay. Apparently they don't like that. Shit. Well, that's annoying. Apparently they don't like deciduous, but they do like grass. Though not that much. Whoops. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I think everything, all things considered, I think everything's going okay at the moment. I haven't checked finances, but I imagine we're probably doing okay. So it's supposed to be 98. Why is that not 99? Uh, what is going on? There we go. So it's supposed to be 99. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so we've got three of the seven exhibits that we need. Guest happiness is not that good. Uh, don't really know why. Ah, 
That's annoying because that's quite big. Hang on. That does fit there. I thought it would. It didn't earlier, but I think it's just annoying me. Something was wrong. Um, right. Now to build a bit of scenery. Okay, so the Plesiosaurus is now available. That's really good. Um, because that's one of the animals that we need. Still need Kentrosaurus and Apatosaurus, but other than that, we're fine. Actually, these guys have grown up already. That was fast. Might need another scientist, and I'm also going to increase that. Might need another scientist, and... We are actually making money, which is good. Um, but we might need another scientist. And scientists are expensive. Okay, that's researching. Good, because that's one of the things that we need. Okay, putting a bit more scenery. Just maximise space and make sure that we're not wasting any. Not the space not the space should be an issue, but I mean we want to make sure that the guests are happy, which they're not massively happy at the moment, and I don't know why. There's no hung there's no hungry or thirsty or tired guests. They're just not massively happy, and I don't know why. Maybe it's just not enough for them to do because there's only three exhibits. So I think we should probably build another one. And since we did just research it, we may as well build the Plesiosaurus. Uh, or we could build a Stegosaurus. Now let's go to the Plesiosaurus. Um, Okay, that is fine.
Might be making these exhibits too big, I'm not sure. Okay, guest happiness is increasing. Slowly. Uh, we don't actually need that. There's nothing to stop us from getting non-Jurassic exhibits, it's just... Expensive and space, and we might not have the time or the money. Um, and he wants a mate. Damn it! Should have thought that through. I think we're making money. Don't think we're making much, but I think we are profitable. But we do have two years, which is um, is good. Could actually probably research some of this. I'm. Going to temporarily get rid of that. Uh, we also don't need that, but um, we have to research that in order to research everything else. We can't just be like, oh yeah, research the things that we want and not the things that we don't want. You have to take all or nothing. Because they're always researched in a certain order. Like, Woolly Mammoth is always first, no matter what you do. But I'm going to need another scientist. Money's a bit low, but I think we should be okay. For now, at least. Uh, build some scenery. Just keep people occupied and happy. Hmm. That's too big and that's too small, but I think that'll do. That's what I wanted. Accidentally scrolled past. Just putting a few maps. Just makes the. Stop shocking yourself. You're only going to make yourself unhappy. Exhibit 5? Oh shit. Yeah, that's obviously an issue. So of interest. Yep. Visit the eggs, because we need these to fucking hatch. Dinosaurs will become happier when the scientist excellent. Uh, we don't need that either. But we do need that. So once that's done, uh, we can get rid of that, move back onto that, and probably just stop spending money on that. Wait, did I hear that something hatched? Oh, it's this guy. Okay. That said, these guys are just hatched, which is very good.
Um, whoa. Right, that's fine. Um, rocks and foliage. As always. So we certainly need quite a lot of rocks. Foliage, horsetail, which I don't think we have. We don't. So they're going to have to use uh, this, which works, thankfully. It's not going to be as effective, but it works nonetheless. So it's building 94. That's not great, but good enough, considering we don't have the correct tree. And no, I'm not going to research it. I think this is actually the last thing um, that we need to research for that, and then we can just stop putting money in. Okay, there's an angry guest. Why are you angry? Because the Plesiosaurus were... Can we just go to the restaurant or get a gift shop or something. Go to the gift shop. Do something fun, you idiot. Ugh. Do we have a guest happiness goal? We don't. That's interesting. Okay, we don't need Velociraptors. Ah, oh, done. Um. Um. In fact, actually, we are going to need some foliage. Not immediately, so cut the funding to that. Um, that's not urgent, so cancel that. Uh, save the game. So still got f three exhibits to build. Kentrosaurus, Stegosaurus, and Allosaur and um, Apatosaurus. Space isn't an issue because we've got a ton of it. Guest happiness isn't great. Zero rating's fine. Sustainability, suitability rating, fine. Um, so basically just have 18 months to build three exhibits, which, when you put it like that, is fine. So I'd say this scenario is a lot easier than the last scenario. Uh, which doesn't really make any sense, because the last scenario you could just build... You had to build eight rather than seven exhibits, but you could build anything 
Whereas this is like, oh, you must build this, you must build that. So I don't really know what... I don't really know why I found that scenario so difficult, to be honest. But right now I'm just waiting for... Well, I guess I'm waiting for two things. I'm waiting for money to come in. And I'm also waiting for these guys to grow up to find out whether or not I need to um, extend their exhibit or not. Okay, we did get 5,000 donation. Um... So I kind of want to see if we are actually making any money or not. Uh, as a zoo itself. And right now it's looking like we're actually not. But we're only halfway through the month. So. <laughs> Excuse me. So there is still time. Um. Guest happiness is not great, but I think it has gone up. All these buildings are profitable. Which is good. Yeah, we are we are making cash, just not a whole lot. Um, but we do have quite a bit of time left. Um, to build, the, we still have three exhibits to build. Um, Yeah. One, two, three. Now, this is going to be really expensive because because these guys are so big, they require such a big exhibit that it's going to be a f fortune to build. I'm not even joking. It could actually it could actually cost about a hundred thousand just to build that exhibit. Um, because for a male and a female, I think you need something like a, um, well, like a 40 by 20 exhibit, which is going to cost a fortune just in the fencing, and then you need the terrain and the rocks. And 10,000 just to get a male and a female. And the foliage, so. It's just very expensive, as you'd expect. Okay, we made about 5,000 that month, which is fine. So, we don't have enough money to build another exhibit. Um, I don't know which would be more exciting for the guests, and I don't know which one would be cheaper between these two. I think these are considered quite boring. I don't think the guests really like these guys. But I don't think they like Stegosaurus that much either, which is a bit unusual. But then I think they really like Apatosaurus, but it's really expensive. 
which is um, annoying to say the least. And yeah, there's no I have said this before, there's nothing to stop us building other exhibits, but cost. They'd be really expensive. <sighs> okay, I do need to think about where I'm going to put these other three exhibits. So I think we're going to put one here, and then probably, yeah, just build build them over here. Should be all right. Apologies for saving it repeatedly. I like saving, so. I'm thinking about building another building, but I don't know what. Um, we've kind of got everything we need, and everything is profitable, so... Both of these are... popular. Obviously, they're not making any money, but... They do increase happiness. Um, I have noticed that for some reason dinosaur zoos seem to be harder to make guests happy than regular zoos and possibly marine zoos. I'm not sure about marine zoos but just regular zoo tycoon zoos. I don't know I just for whatever reason, I find them much easier than dinosaur zoos. You'd think guests would be happier going to a dinosaur zoo because they're seeing dinosaurs and it's dinosaurs. Like, it seems counterintuitive. It doesn't seem to make any sense. That said, we do have a guest happiness of 89. Which is pretty high. Not stupidly high, but it's high. Oh, try and put something down, thinking why can't I put it down, and it turns out it's already being used. Try to put down the thing, try to put down something in a place where I already had that exact thing there. Coincidence. Send paths out in preparation of building another exhibit once we get the cash. Don't know how much it's going to cost, so we may have enough, but I don't think we do. Um, we aren't actually spending any money on research at the moment. Could spend money on this. I think we will. We don't need it, but it's gonna help. It's not essential.
You know, seem to be making about 6,000 a month. Possibly more. Six and a half thousand. That said, the donations come in at the end of the month, not the start. So yeah, we made about seven and a half thousand dollars that month, which is really good. You know what? I'm going to actually build this exhibit. I don't know how big I'm going to need it. Um, but I'm going to build it. Oh, God damn it. Fuck. How big is that, actually? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 by 17 should be big enough that's the problem with Zoo Tycoon I know roughly how big to build certain exhibits with Dinosaur Digs I have no idea how big to build exhibits so I either make them too big or too small and immediately that's cost me like $20,000 just that. I haven't even built terrain or rocks or foliage. God damn, that's expensive. Okay, the quicker these guys hatch, the better. But on the other hand, I'm actually not really in much of a rush because we don't actually have enough money as it is. Although we will get the $10,000 emergency donation, so I think it should be okay. So right now I'm literally just waiting for these guys to hatch. Uh, if my scientists could fucking hurry up with that. The sooner the better. Okay, guest happiness seems to be pretty constant at 89. Animal happiness isn't as high as I'd like it to be. These guys have grown. And, surprise surprise, the exhibit's not big enough. But it's still at suitability 100, which is weird, so I'm going to leave it. Because it's probably only marginally not big enough. Uh, I think these guys... I oh, know, these guys are still babies. These guys have grown. But they're fine. These guys are still babies, but they're fine. I will upgrade it when, if, I get the money. But they seem fine. Suitability 100, happiness 100, so they seem fine. But if they become really angry, then obviously I'm going to need to expand it, but I don't have the cash at the moment, which is really annoying. Err. These guys still haven't hatched. I 
Okay, it's not saying that guests are happy with your zoo because guest happiness is above 90. So when guest happiness is above 90, it says guests are very happy with your zoo. So if we can keep it above 90, that's ideal. Why the hell was that woman swaying around like she was drunk? Anyway, these guys have hatched. Uh, they're saying they want more animals at the same time. That's a bit annoying. Well, saw that later. That's not that's not urgent. Uh, Also, the exhibit might not actually be big enough for that. I mean, it might not even be big enough for the two of them, let alone three or four. Basically bankrupt at the moment. But we will get the 10,000 emergency funds. Okay, and trees. They want that, but we don't have that. Should be okay. Right, we are out of cash. Guest happiness has gone down a tiny bit. Animal happiness, not great, but good enough, kind of. Main reason, obviously, being these guys aren't very happy. Zero rating, not great. Hang on. It's good birth. Are they adults? They must be. Not massively, they're not massively big, but then again, I didn't think they would be, so. Um, but yeah, they're, they've laid an egg. That's nice. These guys are still fine, so I'm not going to expand that for any time soon. Uh, these guys are fine. These guys are just built, and these guys... I can't tell if they're, if they're babies or not, but they're fine. Um, but we are out of funds. So I'm going to wait. Uh, but we only have two more exhibits left. So I think it cost about forty or fifty thousand to build all that. So it's going to cost about the same to build the Stegosaurus. Um, and it's going to cost a lot to build the Apatosaurus, so we will do it, but we kind of need the zoo to be more profitable than it is. 
And I can't really think of any way of doing that other than build more amusements and stuff. Or raise prices. But everything's fine, so... That's not hugely profitable, but it is profitable. <laughs> and the thing is, as well, is like... Okay, we've got 240... 250 guests at the moment. The guests are near here where all everything is. Like, if we had a load of guests over here, we could build stuff over here and make money off of that. But because the guests are already by the facilities, here, Here's already been built up, so there's nothing I can really build that would make a lot of money. And increase profitability. Actually, we are still making we are still spending money on this. Two thousand a month. So once that goes, profitability will increase. I mean we are we are making money, it's just very slow. Um, actually, I think we're making about 10,000 a month. Um, but to complete everything... We're going to need about... I don't know. The Apatosaurus is going to be extremely expensive. So... We're probably going to need about an extra 100,000 at least. On top of what we already have. Um, which means a lot of waiting around, unfortunately. Okay, despite the fact that these guys are living in an exhibit that apparently isn't big enough, they're still fine. Uh, which doesn't really make any sense. It may cause problems later on, but it hasn't at the moment, so... I have no idea what's up with that. So I'm just going to leave it like it is. Sorry for keep saving it. I don't know why the zoo rating is so low. Zoo rating 80. Might need another scientist to be fair. So let's actually get one of them. Be interesting to see just how much we're actually making. Because I'm not going to spend any money this month. I'm just going to see how much we make. The only thing we're spending money on is research. And I just realised we're probably going to need a maintenance worker. Um, once the exhibit gates and fencing becomes a bit of an issue. Right now we're okay, but later on, maybe.
Apologies for not really much going on at the moment. Um, as I've said before, I'm literally waiting for money to come in. Ooh, zoo value's about to hit 200,000, that's nice. Doesn't mean anything, it's just... It's... Yay! Nice to have. Um... Not seeing as many um, admissions this month for whatever reason. Uh, not seeing as much money being spent on amusements. Although the, the month isn't over yet, so there's still time. Once this finishes, we're gonna just have interest. Okay, so scientist training is now done. So there probably won't be that many more of these left either, so stop that, you stupid idiot. You're literally just trying to get yourself killed and make yourself angry. Best happiness, animal happiness. Everything's fine. Zero rating's not great, but it doesn't need to be, and we do only have five exhibits, so it's not that bad. Don't know when exactly I'm going to start building... Yeah, there we go. So we didn't see that many admissions that month compared to previous months, which is a bit weird. Uh, but we did get quite a lot of donations. We do have 16 benefactors, which is a lot. Well, it's not a lot, but it obviously helps. Uh, recycling benefit, that's just because of, like, poo and stuff. Um, so obviously as the zoo grows, so the more animals we have, the more money we make from poo. Doesn't sound great, but it makes sense. Um, that compost building does help. If only a tiny bit, but every little helps. So, ignoring research, we actually made $10,000 that month. Which is really good. But maybe not good enough. I mean, we're halfway through. We do have another year. We only need two exhibits, but unfortunately they're going to be... Well, one of them's the most expensive of all seven. And the other one's not cheap, but not ridiculously expensive. I hope. I say it's not ridiculously expensive, I haven't built it yet, so I don't actually know. I don't know when to start building it, that's the thing. This thing takes a while. It'll be done before the month's over though, and I'm hoping it's the last thing. It'll be useful, but I'm hoping it is the last thing. Good grief. These dinosaurs are actually tiny. I mean, they're fully grown, and then you compare it to that, it's like... That's not even the biggest dinosaur. The Apatosaurus is the biggest dinosaur, I think. 
Okay, that guy's fully grown now. So compare him to him. He's actually just grown up. But the good thing is, is that exhibit is big enough. Actually, if I'm not going to expand, I may as well build something here, but what? Because the, the guests don't come out here, so it's like... Hmm. Huh. Might actually build another tour guide. They're only 500 a month, and they do increase guest happiness. Considering the size of the zoo as well, we do want more guests to come um, over here. Because they are just literally packing themselves over here. We could get tour guide training, but the problem is, is we'd have to spend money on unnecessary maintenance worker and zookeeper training. And we don't need either of those, so... Sorry tour guys, he's going to remain untrained. Everything's making a lot of money. The zoo itself isn't making that bad money. Guest happiness is good. Animal happiness is good. Zoo rating is okay. So I think everything's going okay. That'll be done very soon. Hoping it's the last one, but I can't be sure. The rating is actually... Oh. Okay, the Allosaurus is determined to kill himself, and I'm wondering if that's because the exhibit isn't big enough. So I'm actually going to expand it. I don't know if that's going to be big enough, but... Hopefully it is. Mm, yes, no. Still not big enough. Damn. Seriously? Okay, they're getting really pissed. This isn't good. How the hell is it still not big enough? Fuck off. Fuck off with you. Oh god. And they're gonna be pissed as fuck. They're so angry. Yes. No. Right, finally it's big enough. But the terrain is obviously fucked up. So they're just... Yelling and yelling and yelling and not making my life any easier. So this is going to kill zoo rating and guest happiness, animal happiness and... Just everything. Everything's gone to shit, and they're destroying the trees because they're mad. Because they're idiots. They're mad, so they destroy the trees, but then they complain because they don't like destroyed trees. Okay, these, these guys are too loud to talk over. I 
can't really talk over them, they're too loud. They are furious. Okay, the exhibit is now fine, but the guest happiness, animal happiness, and zoo rating have all taken a hit. These guys need to calm down. Because they're just going to keep trampling everything. But at least now they should try and stop electrocuting themselves. That cost a fortune. I'm actually going to move this back over to here. Right, now I've got to keep saving up money again because that cost me about $20,000. For fuck's sake. You better not destroy the trees again. They are slowly becoming happier, but... Ugh, fuck's sake. Just fuck off with you. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> Seriously. You yelling isn't going to make things get better for you any easier. Okay, they are slowly getting happier. Just very slowly. Right, once that's done, I think that's the last thing, but I can't be sure. Certainly near the end, if it isn't the last. Because we had, like, dinosaur antibiotics, longevity, um, possibly something to make them more fertile and make them give birth easier, and then reduce food costs. We've also had the scientist's training, obviously, which is... Um, walk faster, more food, and dinosaurs becoming happier. All of which is obviously very useful. It's not 100% necessary, but it's it helps. Okay, so we've got 11 months left. We are slightly over halfway. Oh fuck half! Seriously, just stop! You're destroying trees and then complaining about destroying trees. You're an idiot! At least the Zeus is still a hundred. And they are becoming very, very slowly happier. Jesus Christ, stop! Just stop, okay? I 
don't think there's anything I can really do. Just have to wait for them to become happy so that they don't destroy trees. And also remember in future that Allosaurus requires a massive exhibit. Ah, good. He's, right, okay. He's gone in the cave. That'll make him happy. And that's that done. So... Right, so we don't need any more money on research and stuff. Uh, we are actually making a lot of profit, it would seem. So if I just wait around a bit, then we can build the Stegosaurus exhibit and then the Apatosaurus exhibit. I do think we'll... It'll be close to the two years, but I think we'll be fine. I'm not envisioning any massive problems like that again. Even with these grumpy twats... Animal happiness is actually fine. Guest happiness is... Eh. Zero thing. Eh. Zero rating will go up once we've built those exhibits and animal happiness... And guest happiness go up. Animal happiness will cause the guest happiness to go up, which will cause the zero rating to go up. Building exhibits will cause the guest happiness and the zero rating to go up. So it's kind of all linked together. Now the problem is, is we've already we've already had the zoo emergency donation of ten thousand dollars, so we're on our own. We can't get any more mysterious magic bundles of money, which is very annoying. Much as I want mysterious magic bundles of money, That said, apparently in January alone we made about 13,000... No, about $12,000. So just keep waiting and we should be fine. Oh, piss off. Seriously? The exhibit isn't big enough for the number of animals that it currently holds. Well, you know what, let's just sell the baby. There you go, you're happy now. And if the exhibit ain't big enough, we'll just sell the baby. Because we're harsh, like that. These guys will slowly become happy. It's just going to take ages. But everyone else is fine. Um, Might be too big, but oh well.
We don't have enough money as it is to build the actual exhibit, but we can wait for them to hatch and hopefully everything will be okay. Okay, he's he's now really happy for whatever reason. He's not as happy for whatever reason. Um, exhibit fencing is starting to deteriorate. Uh, not an issue. We can repair it ourselves. And it's fine. Everything's fine. Except we don't have any money. Or we have very limited. So just wait for those dinosaurs to hatch. Probably going to be, be told um, that they're going to want another animal in that exhibit and then I'm probably going to be told when they all grow up that the exhibit isn't going to be big enough and I'm going to be like, oh for fuck's sake. But the sooner these guys hatch, the better. Um, let's get a scientist over there. Tell him to hurry the fuck up. I mean, there's not actually there's not actually a mad rush because, like I said, I don't have enough cash to build the exhibit terrain as it is. So. Mm. I kind of want more babies so I can make money from selling babies, which sounds really harsh, but that's kind of how this game works. Um, yeah, that's still okay. So, just made 3,000 from selling a baby. Sounds really harsh, but... Oh, fuck off! Stop it! Stop doing that! I thought making the exhibit bigger would stop them doing that, but it hasn't, so making the exhibit bigger did fuck all. Ugh. Literally wasted a load of cash making the exhibit bigger for no fucking reason. On the plus side, we did make about ten or eleven thousand last month in profit. Oh, fuck off. Eggs need to hurry the fuck up.
eggs will not hatch. Why don't they hatch? Hurry the fuck up. Oh. Speak of the devil. It's just hatched. Uh, right. Yeah, they're going to want more animals of the same type. Unfortunately, we don't really have much cash. I'm also thinking this exhibit might not be big enough. Only time will tell. Oops. Um, yeah, we don't have the cash to do all this. Fresh water. Okay, we really don't have the cash to do this. We need about an extra 6,000. That's incredible. Okay, we need about an extra 2,000 to accept this and make everything okay, and then we need foliage and rocks and possibly make the exhibit bigger once they grow up, and it's just, like, for fuck's sake. I like dinosaur zoos, but the, they are difficult. And because they grow as well, it's like, everything is fine now, but you know that later on it isn't going to be. Okay, guest happiness has gone back up to 90, that's very good. Animal happiness is actually not great. Zero rating, not great. It's because of these guys and the Allosauruses, that's why. Oh, come on. Give me cash. I just need extra 1,000 for fuck's sake. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, no. Still can't afford it. <sighs> right, that's that done. Um, rocks, foliage, and more animals of the same type. We can't afford that. And then the exhibit definitely won't be big enough. Hooray! Everything's going well. By which I mean it isn't. On the plus side, we do only have one more exhibit left. On the downside, it's going to be really expensive. And I'm actually thinking... With that... We don't actually need a male and a female, we only need a male. Or a female, we just need one. And I think he's actually happy enough just living by himself. Okay, did you just destroy something? It sounded like something just got destroyed. Even though they can't, because they can't actually destroy rocks, which is a bit weird. They can destroy trees, but they can't destroy rocks. Okay, we definitely don't have enough money for this. Seriously need more cash. Very fast. Don't destroy the trees. Oh, fuck off. Seriously? I'm trying to make your life easier. Ugh. Twats. This is why I don't like dinosaurs as well, because they just destroy everything. They just... They're like toddlers. They just throw tantrums. I guess they are toddlers, because to be fair, I mean, they're not very... They did just hatch, like, not long ago. <sighs> Sustainability is technically high enough, but it's not... Like, we're going to want it to be more.
And they've also said they want another animal. And that animal is probably going to want another mate. So, we're probably going to need four of these, but that's not going to happen. So I'm just going to stick with these two. Because we don't have the cash. We're broke. Okay, that exhibit is built. As long as they don't destroy the trees. And that's a big if. We'll be fine. Okay, seriously. Why are these guys not happy? Feeling crowded by too many guests. Well, there's nothing I can really do about that. Boo fucking who? I've got bigger problems to deal with. I've got eight months. Ah, these guys are grown. And the exhibit is actually big enough. That's good. I mean, he's still a baby, but the exhibit is actually big enough, which is good. Doing too much good for us. Well, now you tell me. You didn't tell me that before, did you, you stupid twat? No wonder the suitability wasn't very high. You told me that before. Idiots. So it's person 97. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. Okay, we do have a... Mm. I say we've got a bit of cash, but not really. <sighs> Save the game again. I don't actually know how long this video's gone on for. I've got a feeling this video is pretty long as it is already. Um... I'm going to apologise now and just say that it's probably going to be one part. Because uh, there's not really much point making it into two. Because um, that would mean that the first part is a lot longer than the second part. And the second part would just be me waiting around for cash to build this extra exhibit. We are going to need a lot of cash. I'm aware of that. Okay, guest happiness has gone back up. Animal happiness is now good. These guys are actually now happy. These guys are happy enough. Um, and Z rating isn't perfect, but it's good enough. So we just need to build that one exhibit. Hang on. Why did he say that there's six months to build this? Six months to complete when there's seven? May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. That's eight months. And it said there were six. Guests are very happy with the zoo. Animals are very happy. 
So your rating's alright. I'm not going to give another ex I'm not going to put another animal because the exhibit won't be big enough. I'm pretty sure it's not big enough for two. But hopefully it won't matter. Because it didn't matter there. Really. Which means I'd waste a lot of money. And time. That's an issue. Got a lot of broken fencing lying around. So I might have to get a maintenance worker. In fact, yeah, let's just get a maintenance worker. Oh, crap! Ah, oh, fuck. Good thing I noticed that. Rest in peace, zoo rating. Possibly... Um... Yeah, zero rating's crap. Um. Yeah. Good thing I noticed that. That maintenance worker's gonna have to work on overdrive at the moment. Where is he needed? Okay, he's needed over here. Is that it? Oh no, still needed over here. Uh, there. And. Apparently that's not everything. There. Oh great, because so one's broken again. Okay, may need another maintenance worker, because this is pretty ridiculous. Fine now. May need another maintenance worker if it gets ridiculous again, but. Right, the zoo rating will increase. It is actually increasing fairly fast. Because it was 30 or 35 when he escaped. But because we got him immediately, the guests didn't complain, so. Is okay. Now, where am I going to put this exhibit? Probably going to have to put it here. I think that's going to be big enough. The thing is, I'm going to need 80 pieces of exhibit. And I don't know if that's good enough or if I have to use Electrified. Probably going to have to use Electrified because the Apatosaurus is extremely big. And therefore it's probably quite strong. Uh, that times 80 is... Um, 
well, uh, 28,000, I think, for, yeah, 28,000. So 28,000 just to build the exhibit fencing, 5,000 to adopt him, so that's 33,000, plus the terrain, plus the trees. All in all, that's going to be about $60,000. Well, interestingly, that exhibit is actually big enough for three adults. And he's not even saying he wants a mate, so that's really good. Um... So making about ten thousand a month, uh, so it should be okay. Just going to wait around a lot for cash, and I do keep saving it. I am aware. I think this video has probably hit about about hit the two hour mark. Um, I do apologise. Um. Probably should have made it into two parts, but A is too late now, and B where would I cut it off? It would it would mean that one part is like a lot of building and another part is just a lot of waiting around, so I don't really want that. Like I'm scared that they're gonna turn those trees into rubble, but they're not done it yet. But yeah, the, fa the fact remains, we need uh, 33,000 just to actually build the exhibit and place the animal. So there's literally no point doing anything until we've got at least 33,000. Uh, which is very annoying. We're going to be very pressed for time. Gonna be very close to the two year mark when we actually do do this, if we do it. Which I think we'll do it. I think we're okay, but. How are we doing for fencing? Uh, this exhibit's a bit damaged. That's fine. And now that's all fixed. Still needs to be making more money, ideally. 
Zoo rating is back to normal. Animal happiness is fine. Guest happiness is fine. I don't know how to make it more profitable though, because I don't want to increase the prices of anything. I don't want to increase the ticket price, the admission price. I can't build any more, like, restaurants or anything, because it's like, well, where would we put them and would they make any money? I must have built one here, but I don't think it would make any money, but I'm not sure. Now restaurant's making 3,300 a month. That is ridiculous. Whereas the golf course is barely making profit. Restaurant is by far the most profitable building on the entire um, zoo. Everything else kind of makes about the same amount. Oh, this is ridiculous. How am I going to build this exhibit when I can't acquire the funds? I also need that tree, ideally. It only takes 10 days. So, that's a... Six hundred and sixty dollars. I can afford that. Yeah, I think we're just gonna build it either here, like this way, or this way. Should be alright. It is at the back, which is a bit of a shame, because it's a very popular dinosaur. So it's a very popular dinosaur, but the guests have to go quite a long way to get to it. Although that said, I mean, it is on the main entrance, so... There's nothing stopping them. It's not like they've got to go, like, higgledy-piggledy round. They just go like that, and then it's like, oh, hello! There's an Apatosaurus. It's not hard to find. Still make well. Apparently, we only made about nine thousand that year. Month, rather. Uh, a bit annoying. It's just random as well because some months you make more money from donations and um, concessions and tickets than other months. So it's kind of like, a, it kind of averages out. It's like, oh, you're going to make about this month, this much each month. But it's not exact, because it fluctuates a lot. So it's very hard to make any kind of long-term prediction as to how much you're going to make. Okay, cancel that. Saves ourselves about 2,000 a month. We are, very slowly, making money. I'm just going to try and build up that exhibit. Pretty sure this is the minimum size required for a male or oh, 
an adult Apatosaurus, just one on its own. It's bloody huge, that exhibit. And that's for one. I mean, it's, it is a huge dinosaur. But still. That construction. That construction cost. Good grief. Shame you can't research anything that's like reduces the cost of adopting animals or reduces the cost of building fencing. Because now I've got to save, I've got five thousand dollars for one animal. That's more than anything else, I think. Stegosaurus four thousand, forty-five hundred. Yeah, it's, it's the most expensive dinosaur, both in terms of actual adopting and buying everything, like, in terms of just the egg, and, um, I guess happiness has gone down. On the plus side, we do have a long time to build... We've got five months. August, September, October, November, December. We've got five months. Are they adults? I think they're now adults. I can't be sure. But I think they are. Everyone okay? Seems like it. Yeah, it seems like everyone's okay. That is such a big exhibit, it's ridiculous. Just realised I forgot to build path. Spending all my money on useless path. Why has your guest happiness gone down? I don't know. Animal happiness has gone down. Not ridiculously, but it's gone down. We might need another scientist. Which is annoying because they're expensive. I think I should make a lot of money in July. Because we got a lot of admissions for some reason. So we made about 12,000. We will win. We're going to win the scenario. It's just. kind of like. when. It's just taking its time. It's not making it easy for me because money. Anyway. Right.
We're going to need this guy to hatch soon. Yulzu has no money. Hang on, what are they still researching? They aren't researching it. It's just telling me we don't have any money to research. But we're not researching anything, so... It's a... It's fine. It's really not a problem. Yeah, these, these things are absolutely huge when they become adults. They're a lot bigger than them. Allosaurus has given birth. Interesting. I could sell the baby. Mm, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, we need the maintenance worker over here. But he can't swim, so... He's a bit limited as to what he can do. Because he has to repair it from the outside, which is... a bit inconvenient. But everything else is fine. Might need another scientist. Spends all this time training to get a PhD to become a scientist, and all you have to do is just clean poo and walk around. Must be a bit depressing. Aha! He's finally hatched. Okay, so even as a baby, he's pretty damn big. Alright, so we're gonna need a small for well, a big fortune, just for the frickin' terrain. We don't have any. We don't have the money for the terrain as it is, and also that's a lot of rocks. On the plus side, these are apparently really, really popular with guests. So they may be really expensive, but... If I didn't have to get one, I wouldn't get one, because they're just so expensive. Unless the zoo was really, really profitable. But as it stands, the zoo isn't profitable enough for me to justify this. So the only reason I have it is because I have to. Not because I absolutely want to. to me all my cash to just do this. It's ridiculous. Mm. 
I'm not even close to being finished with this terrain. <sighs> Whoops. Obviously we need foliage. Good thing is I can plonk these anywhere because they're big. It's also his favourite tree, so makes him happy. God. I might have to leave this because I'm just. I don't have the cash. Leave it until I've got some more cash. I don't think, as a baby, he can destroy trees, which is good. I just don't have the cash. What I could do is spend a thousand dollars a month on marketing and hope that I get more guests coming to the zoo. I think I'm going to... Could do that. Oh, fuck off. Seriously? Hang on, how the fuck's he escaped? Oh, he's not escaped. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right. Rest in peace, Z rating yet again. Uh, it should fix itself by the time. Oh god. Well, this is a pile of crap. Oh! Come on! I can't pick him up. I can't pick up the dinosaur if he's eating a guest. Also, because of reasons. Uh, this game makes the guest invincible, so even though they get eaten, they just get spat out, so they're perfectly fine. Yeah, we definitely need another maintenance worker. So, zoo rating is tanked. Guest happiness will go down. Doing the same scream over and over again. Same screen sound effect. Right, so we need to... For fuck's sake. We need to repair all these fucking fences. Okay, they're fine. So zoo rating is died. We only have three months to fix that. Uh, it does only have to be 75, which isn't stupidly high. Um, but this Apatosaurus is still unhappy for obvious reasons. Right. Hopefully it doesn't require too much more trees. Or too much more foliage, I should say. Too many more trees. <sighs> For fuck's sake. I thought this scenario was going to be easier, but it's actually being a massive pain in the ass. Like I said, I don't mind dinosaur scenarios. I don't mind dinosaur... Zoos. It's just for whatever reason these past two scenarios have been a massive bitch. <sighs> the goals even oh. the goals aren't even that difficult. Build seven exhibits with not very high suitability rating, 85 suitability, zoo rating 75, there's no guest happiness rating goal, 
It's just funds. Because everything is so expensive. And for whatever reason, it seems to be harder to just generally make cash. In terms of donations and concessions and admissions, it's just annoying as fuck. I just want this scenario to be over, but thankfully it nearly is. Okay, he's, he's, he's happy with the trees. About time. Okay, we actually did that quite a while ago, but I'm guessing it required a certain suitability rating. Not that we actually have it yet, because... The terrain isn't finished yet. And this is costing me a fortune that I don't have. Jeez. Fifteen thousand. I can't get that cash by the end of the month. How am I going to get $12,000 for this terrain change? I can't. There's just no freaking way. So that's just dirt in bits. Even then it's only a suitability of 90. I'm going to have dirt in bits, I'm sorry. But... Oh well. It only has to be a suitability of 85. So I'm going to do it. And zoo rating is back up. I just need cash. I need money. Almost there, but still got two months left.
God, this is, this is ridiculous. This is utterly ridiculous. It's a so slow process. Why doesn't it let me accept that? Now it is. Right, okay. We have technically now done everything for the scenario. We're also out of cash. So we have technically won the scenario. Um, but I'm still going to... I'm going to want to improve that a bit more because it's not complete yet. Um... And we only have two months left, so I might as well just win the scenario and then end the video here, because it's gone on long enough. This 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 video alone is going to be about... Well, it's two and a half hours already, so it's going to be very nearly three hours by the time it's finished. And... I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty damn tired of recording this scenario. I really should have made it two parts and I'm very much sorry and apologise for that. Some guy just vomited, that's pretty pleasant and something I didn't really want to hear. And I don't actually know why they do that, like why do they vomit just randomly? Because it does happen quite frequently, but I don't know why. Does he not want any grass? It does want some grass. Okay, so it's just another two thousand dollars, and we're there with the two thirty ninety, and then we just wait it out, wait for the scenario to end. So we have won, thankfully, but fucking time. Uh, it's just a case of waiting it out. Right. Okay, that's it. That is apparently his exhibit complete. Nothing else I can do to increase the suitability of that exhibit. It would seem it is complete. So, with that, we just got to sit it out and wait. Again. A lot of waiting in this game. Um. Uh, but we have actually won the scenario with a month and a half to spare. Technically two months, but I spent some time building that up, so. Um, right, there's no point spending any money on research. 
No point spending any money on anything, really. Uh, do we have anything we can sell? Maybe make a bit of cash? Nope. No, apparently everything is complete. So I'm going to save the game. Yep. Literally nothing else to do except for wait for the game to end. Um... So of interest, if we check the finances for November. Well, actually, let's check it for October. Um, we made about $11,000. That's very good. Um, that award doesn't give you any money, annoyingly. Uh, so it's just purely for decoration. Um, made about $1,200 a month just in poo. So that's easily paid for itself, because how much does that actually cost just to buy it itself? Um, 1500 So we're making just almost that much in a month alone. So... And the thing is, as well, is you only ever need one of those. It's not like if you build two, you make twice as much. And every time an animal poos, which always happens a lot, uh, we make $50. So, always get the compost building, unless you're playing a marine zoo, in which case I don't think it works, because I don't think marine animals poo, as it is, as it were. Like, obviously they poo, but... They don't... You can't make any money from the poo. Zoo Tycoon, Dinosaur Digs, Compost Building... ...is very good, because you make a lot of money from it. Which I think actually shows up as... Yeah, this amount of income from recycling garbage, poo, and cleared objects. So it's like... Compost Building and just... ...destroying stuff. Um. Right, so I've only got about um, well, 25 days left. So, not much longer. Uh, the video will be about two and a half hours. Which will be my longest ever recorded video, and it feels like it, to be honest. Um, I'm seriously sorry. I should have made it two parts. Um, not long now. So much waiting around. You're either waiting for the scenario to end, or you're waiting for cash, or you're waiting for research. It's just a lot of waiting around. And there's 
nothing I can do to ease the waiting around, like... I, I could have made the zoo more profitable. I probably could have made the zoo more profitable. And I could have saved myself some cash by making exhibits smaller, only needed one Allosaurus, I didn't need two, which would have saved me a lot of cash. But... Ah... Uh. It's nearly over. Ten more days. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, apologies for it being ridiculously long. Um, and I thank you for watching. If you have watched the whole thing, then very, very thank you. Very thankful for you. Um, because I didn't expect it to be as long as it was. Like I said, I should have made it two parts, and I'm a fool. But it is basically over now, so... We did win the scenario. Um, seriously, what are these maintenance workers doing? Why are there a load of fences that are damaged? Anyway. That is basically the end of this scenario, so thank you so much for watching. I apologise for this video being stupidly long. I should have made it two parts, as I've said repeatedly. Uh, if you've got anything to say, leave a comment. Leave a like if you've enjoyed it, uh, subscribe to my channel for more of my videos, and I will see you in the next video, whatever that may be, and whenever that may be, whenever you may find it, whatever, I'm ranting, uh, and we've finally won, so I'm going to click yes, save the game one last time, and end the video here, and now, so... Take care folks, goodbye, and that's the end of this video.